let's just get into those components and talk through what is a warehouse execution system, the components that make that up. And when you think of it very much, you know, a little repetitive of what Cody was saying, it's all about accelerating the performance within the warehouse operations. And, and what does that start with? Many times you look at an ERP, again, good capabilities to release orders, sometimes in that discrete manner. And I'll walk into places, I must have seen 100 different distribution centers where we see the operation of the order release process really relying on tribal knowledge. There's somebody at the desk who knows that operation, knows the warehouse, knows the business, has been with the company maybe 15, 20 years or more, shuffling paperwork, taking paper and creating optimization for zone starts, creating batch orders by putting like orders together that start in zones, sometimes taking labels that might have been shipped from a uh, an order um, uh, system such as Shopify and then matching these labels up with paperwork and handing that out to the workforce or having a runner water spider taking that to the different zones. So it could be one to two people being involved in manually moving paperwork to start executing the orders. We want to streamline that. We want to start with the processes looking at receiving. If it's backed up on the dock doors and so forth, are there technologies that could be utilized to streamline receiving, streamline that put away process? So the warehouse execution system is managing the better practices and processes and acting as that integration layer, that warehouse glue that connects that latest generations of technologies to your business system. And it's all about increasing order throughput, reducing labor costs, reducing uh, reliance on that tribal knowledge or manual knowledge of your process, having the system, you know, systematically drive the efficiencies across the operation. And warehouse execution, uh, very interesting across the industry is measured by performance. Uh, when we're evaluating technologies, and performing the design and um, selection of technology in partnership with our customers, what we're always looking at is comparative technologies. What does a manual batch pick cart with, say, voice perform at versus a AMR-based system or moving that to a goods-to-person system? So we're, we're looking at and contrasting traditional technologies with various levels of automation, deciding really what gives the best return on investment for that customer, customer. But more importantly, how do we have a roadmap that's a scalable solution for the customer? So that architecture looked at graphically where the WAS, WCS layers of RDS sits, which is a little bit of a hybrid, you know, as uh, Cody pointed out earlier, Real-time distribution software is our, our product name for our warehouse execution, but it had started as a control system. So it has still real-time control capabilities. So it has both the execution layer and the control layer. And it's integrating that data flow, getting the orders, executing the orders, um, releasing waves or continuous waves of orders. A important component within the system is not only that order release, but an advanced cartonization algorithm we'll touch on a little bit later. Integrates different picking suites, voice, pick to light, uh, the AMRs, uh, integrating to AMRs, goods to person, complementing the movement of product, conveyor, sorting, controls and automation. And that major component that is really part of the, the three-legged stool, as we always say, the order fulfillment has the component of picking, packing, and shipping. They all three have to be in balance so really uh, applying the right type of technologies to create that pull-through aspect at the shipping area, the right technologies. 